Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a teardown and M.2 installation on the Lenovo V330 14ARR. There's two things you're going to be needing. First is a screwdriver to take off the bottom panel and then a plastic insert of some kind. I use a guitar pick or a credit card to be able to take off the bottom panel. So the first step to taking off the bottom panel is to remove the Ultra Bay cover. Let's just set that off to the side and we can use the hexagon bits inside to hold some of the screws. Next you're going to be removing all 10 screws from the bottom panel. It doesn't really matter what order you take them off in or anything, just make sure that you keep track of them. That's probably the most important thing because you're going to need them when you put back together the laptop. Next you're going to be using the plastic piece, either the guitar pick or the credit card, to start pulling off the bottom cover. I find it's easiest to start in the corner and then just work your way around from the corner, slowly going, working down each side toward the opposite end. I think it's easiest to start in the corner that is opposite from the VGA mount on the left side of the computer because when you get to the end and you take it off, you're going to have to slide the cover off towards that, that connector just to be able to get it off all the way. So just set that off to the side. And when you're pulling the cover off, make sure you're paying attention to these two speakers on the bottom on either side of it. I've had a couple times where it's gotten stuck to the panel, so just when you're pulling it off, if it's kind of stuck to some wires or whatever, you can check those. They're pretty loose, and you really don't want to rip those off of their place. So right here is where the M.2 is going to go, and under this case right here is the RAM. There's a couple little things on all four sides of the, the cover. And you just bend them off to the side and you can just pop that right off. It, it might take a little force, but it'll come off. RAM sticks under there, and it should be pretty easy to upgrade that as well. Installing the M2 drive is pretty easy. It's got a key cut into it that'll fit into the slot, so you just stick it in at a 45 degree angle and bend it back. You'll need a screw to be able to secure it down. I'm going to take this one that's off the top of the motherboard. You probably shouldn't take that, because I think that's to attach the motherboard to the chassis, but It'll work just fine for our purposes. So pretty much once you get that screwed in, all you have to do is put the cover back on and screw everything back down. Before you put the cover on, it's best to do a test run and, and then just check out another channel on how to actually activate this SSD and to start using it. 